Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to talk to you about breast complication during postnatal period. Myself, J.D. Annie Thomas, working as a tutor in Triplum College of Nursing. The objectives of this video, by the end of the class, the students should be able to describe the common problems of breast in preparium, discuss the definition and causes of breast complication in preparium, and explain the management of breast problems in preparium. These are the objectives of this topic. Introduction. The human species is the only one among mammals in which breastfeeding and weaning are not governed only by instinct. Therefore, the breastfeeding and weaning has to be learned. Consequently, women become mothers with little or no ability to breastfeed, which makes them more vulnerable to difficulties during the process. Nurses play a crucial role in the early identification, prevention and management of such difficulties. The common problems are breast engorgement, cracked nipples, inverted nipple, nipple infection, rhinocinomia, mastitis, and breast abscess. These are the some of the breast complications during postnatal period. We will see one by one. First one is the breast engorgement. This is a condition in which there is a conjunction or increased vascularization it will lead to the accumulation of milk and edema it is caused by the conjunction and obstruction of lymphatic drainage usually uh, it manifests at the third and fourth day of preparing in this picture you can see that the non-lactating woman's milk gland and the engorged breast In the engorged breast, lobes and ducts are full and congested, swollen, and breast is diffusely red. Here in these two pictures, engorged breast and normal breast, you can see the lobes and the milk duct, how it is differentiated. What are the symptoms? If the mother is having breast engorgement, there will be pain. Heaviness in both the breast, malaise, the temperature will be increased and painful breastfeeding. What are the preventions of breast encouragement? When the mother deliver as soon as possible, they can start breastfeeding. And on demand, they can give breastfeed. They have to use a proper breastfeeding technique and avoid the use of supplements till six months they have to give exclusive breastfeed no supplements this picture you can see that the technique of breastfeeding the nursing management of breast engorgement if the areola is engorged the mother can express some milk before breastfeeding uh, because of this one the areola it will become softer and the baby can grasp easily and on regular basis and on demand the mother can breastfeed the baby and before giving the breastfeeding she can massage both the breast and they can use analgesics and anti-inflammatory drugs if needed breast pump advise the mother to wear a well-fitting supportive bra Apply warm compresses to help the digestion of the milk. Apply cold compress after or between breastfeeding to reduce edema and vascularization and pain. So these are the nursing management of a mother with breast encroachment. The second complication is cracked or sore nipple. By looking at this picture, you can see that how it is. And what is the definition of cracked nipple? So cracked nipple, uh, it's a nipple trauma or nipple fissure. It occurs when there is a disruption in the skin integrity and the surface of epithelium is lost. This crack can appear as a cut across the tip of the nipple and may extend to its base. 
So this is a definition. What are the causes of cracked nipple? It's improper positioning and inappropriate latch on. If the mother is having any inverted nipple or short or flat nipple, and if the baby is having any oral dysfunction, excessively short frenulum, prolonged non-nutritive sucking, not breaking suction before taking the infant off of the breast. If the mother is using any cream or oils that cause allergy reaction, allergic reaction to the nipples, use the nipple shield and prolonged exposure to wet nursing bar. These are the causes for the cracked nipples. This is managing the cracked nipple or sore nipple. We have to encourage the mother to offer the least affected breast first and then she can give the affected milk. And before giving feeding, they have to express some milk and to stimulate the letdown reflex. Because of this one, it will prevent the infant from sucking too vigorously on the breast. Teach the mother to alternate between different position, reducing the pressure on the sore areas or damaged tissues. If it is necessary, mother can use some oral systemic analgesics. We can advise the mother to avoid harsh soap, deodorant, body powders and other substances. Uh, it could try out the nipples. And also they can use some emollient creams like lanolin based cream or coconut oil. After breastfeeding, they can apply in the nipples. It will soften the skin and reduce the cracking. And even uh, apply breast milk to the nipple. And when it um, allowed to dry, it, it, it can prevent the cracking and it has an antibacterial properties. So this is the medicine management of cracked nipple. Next one is the inverted nipple. In this picture itself, you can identify that what is the normal and what is the inverted nipple. The normal nipple, it is a normal size. And inverted nipple, the nipple, it is going back. And inverted nipple is a condition in which the nipple is pulled inward into the breast instead of pointing outward. That is the inverted nipple. Also be called nipple inversion, nipple retraction or invaginated nipple. Nipple retraction can be congenital, maybe uh, by birth condition as a normal variant in some women. In other cases, it may arise as a result of disease or trauma. What are the causes? There are two causes. One is congenital and one is acquired. The congenital, it is a nipple retraction, can be congenital by birth. Uh, the person is having inverted nipple and acquired. It may arise as a result of disease or trauma. The treatment, there are two types of treatment. In that one is Hoffman technique. In this picture, you can see that what is Hoffman technique. We have to place the thumb on either side of your nipple. Be sure to place them at the base of the nipple, not the outside of the areola. Then press firmly into your breast tissue while still pressing down. Gently pull your thumbs away from each other. Move your thumbs all around the nipple and repeat it. So this is the Hoffman technique. Second one is the syringe pull through method. Women with inverted nipple are trained to use an inverted syringe and apply gentle negative pressure around the nipple to avert it. This procedure can be repeated before each breastfeed as long as required. So these are the two type of treatment. First one is the Hoffman technique, second one is the syringe pull through method for the inverted nipples. Next complication is nipple infection. It is a 
breast infection it is caused by the candida albicans in the piparian it is quite common infection can be superficial or affected the lactiferous duct the causes of this infection are vaginal candidiasis use of antibiotics oral contraceptives and steroids use of contaminated pacifier these are some of the causes of this infection what are the treatment mother and infant both should be treated simultaneously because if the mother is having infection the baby also will get initially this treatment it is topical uh, like uh, nystatin clotrimazole myconazole or ketoconazole for two weeks women can apply the cream after each breastfeeding and do not have to remove it before the next feeding there's the management of nipple infection before and after feed the mother should give breast care and ask the mother to clean the baby's mouth after feed because the infection is there for the mother so it will get to the baby also teach her to maintain proper personal hygiene so this is a nasi management and this is all about the nipple infection next one is the raynaud phenomenon the definition of raynaud phenomena it is an intermittent ischemia caused by vasospasm that often occurs in the fingers and toes can also affect the nipples in general it occurs in response to cold temperature exposure abnormal compression of the nipples in the infant's mouth or severe nipple trauma vasospasm it may cause nipples to become pale due to the lack of blood irrigation and often are very painful so this is the definition of raynaud phenomena what are the causes of raynaud phenomena if the breast is exposed to the cold temperature there is a chance of getting raynaud phenomena abnormal compression of the nipples in the infant's mouth and severe nipple trauma these are the causes the treatment of raynaud phenomena it is a warm compress it can alleviate the pain and medication like the nifedipine it is 5 mg 3 times a day for 1 to 2 weeks otherwise 30 mg once a day for slow releasing formulation then vitamin b6 it is 200 mg per day once a day for 4 to 5 days and later 50 mg per day for another 1 to 2 weeks calcium supplementation it is 2000 mg per day magnesium supplementation it is 1000 mg per day and ibuprofen this is the treatment for raynaud phenomena the next breast complication during piperian is mastitis the name itself we can know that it is a inflammatory process the definition of mastitis it, it is a inflammatory process of one or more breast segments that may or may not progress into bacterial infection it usually occurs in the second and third week after the delivery the causative factors for mastitis are bacterial infection scheduled feeding infants long sleep period at night use of pacifiers or bottles failure to completely empty the breast short frenulum infant with poor suck excessive milk production separation of mother and infant and abrupt weaning maternal fatigue it, it facilitate the development of mastitis so these are the causes for mastitis what are the symptoms because it is an infection so mother will have fever 100.4 degree fahrenheit times it is higher and chill myalgia malaise breast tenderness associated with erythema mastitis it is most commonly unilateral on examination of the breast the erythema is segmental usually in the upper outer quadrant with variable degrees of induration the treatment of mastitis it is antibiotic therapy and analgesic 
analgesics they can use ibuprofen and acetaminophen it will uh, taken for symptomatic relief palliative management of mastitis it will encourage the mother for proper emptying of the breasts with means of breastfeeding manual milk expression after feeding if it is necessary despite the presence of bacteria in the breast milk in case of mastitis breastfeeding should be maintained as it does not pose any risk to the healthy full time infants women should be encouraged to initiate feeds on the unaffected breast and change the infant position at different feed this is all about the messy management and mastitis move on to the next complication it is breast abscess so if the definition is breast abscess develop as a complication of mastitis in 5 to 11 percentage of cases generally in the first 12 weeks after birth or at the time of weaning and are referred to as puerperal or lactational abscesses in this picture you can see that what is abscess the treatment for abscess the incision and drainage of abscess with cavity packed open with gauze is recommended if the overlying skin is thin or necrotic then parenteral antibiotic should be administered at the same time with added coverage for anaerobic bacteria fluid from the abscess should be cultured and result used to determine ongoing antibiotic therapy then needle aspiration of the abscess repeated every other day until the pus no longer accumulates has been suggested as an alternative to open the drainage in this picture you can see that the how they are doing the surgical aspiration for the breast abscess taking care of breast problems in puerperium this is common for all the complications observe the mother breastfeeding her infant to assess the possible latching problem teach her about proper breastfeeding technique assist the patient with helping her develop a plan for proper latching technique with her newborn before the discharge nursing intervention mother should be encouraged to initiate feeds on the unaffected breast and change the infant position at different feeds advise mother to perform breast care before and after feed advise mother to wear a well fitting and supportive bra demonstrate to the mother how to apply warm compress to breast every 2 hours involve family members and partners to promote effective breast feeding summary for breast complication breast feeding problems that develop in the postpartum period have been proposed as an important condition that negatively influences exclusive breastfeeding and the and the breastfeeding period hence nurse midwife plays a vital role in providing education for mothers in the issues of breast care current nursing technique for increasing lactation manual milking and giving support to increase self confidence she also has to be vigilant in early identification and prompt treatment of breastfeeding problem this are the bibliography for this topic i hope all of you understand about what are the breast complication during puerperium and how you have to give care to the mother during this period thank you for watching the video